Once you reach the end of the main campaign, a new challenger will enter the ring, bringing different tactics that require unique solutions. Here are just a few tips to deal with the Black Tusk. Since tech is vital to the way that the Black Tusk operate, being able to disable all their electronics for several seconds provides a huge tactical advantage. That's why using the Jammer variant of the Pulse skill can be a huge help, disrupting your enemies and stopping them dead in their tracks. Out there in missions and in the open world, you'll find special ammo, and by equipping your sidearm before looting these crates, you can save that special ammo for future use. This can be an awesome way to apply those effects to powerful enemies and make a difficult engagement much more manageable. You'll also want to pay close attention to the Black Tusk rushes, because they'll be sending suicide drones at you as soon as they can. Watch for that drone deploy icon, take out the drone as soon as it's released, and the explosion will actually do extra damage, giving you an easy kill. In this case, the best defense is a strong offense. On that note, weak points will also be your friend. You can even stop that drone from spawning altogether by destroying the weak point on the back of the Black Tusk rushes, medics, or snipers. You can also overheat the Warhound's gun by destroying the weak point that shows when it's winding up to attack. Pay attention and go for those weak points, they can sometimes be your saving grace. Did you happen to notice that the Warhound is super fast too? Well, the legs actually have a lower stagger threshold, so having a squad member target these to slow it down can really help you unload some damage. There are a whole heap of new tactics you'll want to employ when engaging with the Black Tusk, so keep a close eye on exactly what they're doing and you'll be able to adapt your strategies for this new and dangerous threat.